Okay, folks, I have been on the road, but just got this box. Uh, I'm Jeremy with ARCS Self-Defense Firearms. Uh, we teach Krav Maga, unarmed self-defense, as well as a series of firearms classes and trainings. Uh, recently got into the equipment business, essentially out of necessity. We were looking for good quality battle belts, holsters, mag pouches, and uh, not happy with the quality of a lot of the stuff that we've seen, as well as the price of a lot of the stuff we've seen. We thought, you know, it could be done better price and a better product. And so that's what we set out to do. So I just got this box in the mail. It is the first of the group that we had produced. I've got several more that are on the way. These are going to be up for sale very, very shortly, probably within the next month or so. But wanted to give you a sneak peek of what I've got. So you'll see I've already prepped the box, since I'm trying to shoot this with one hand on a phone. Uh, what we're looking at here is going to be a battle belt setup. It comes with a holster, the outer belt, the inner belt, as well as a uh, three-piece mag carrier. So you know, I hope you'll forgive me. I've opened it up already and kind of prepped the bag since I'm trying to shoot this with one hand. But what we're going to have here is a couple things. First, it's going to be our holster. Next, going to be our three uh three mag or three pistol mag carrier most of these battle belts that you'll see don't come with the inner belt and the inner belt has to be bought separate ours comes complete as a kit with the inner belt notice it's got the keepers on either side velcro on the inside so that it is completely adjustable for size for anybody i wear a 36 pant i've still got a lot of room on this belt uh, beyond the 36, but it will go all the way down and fit somebody with a 29 or a 30 inch waist as well. And it's got the keepers on the end, so once you Velcro it down, it stays put. Then the biggest part of it, or I say the biggest part between this and the holster, is actually the full battle belt. So I'm going to kind of toss this stuff here out of the way. Notice it even comes with our logo and such on the box as well as website and then again it's going to explain and each piece is explain what it is but it is a full drop leg setup this will eliminate you having to go out and buy everything in pieces so i want to make sure we can see what we got here okay again apologize i'm trying to do this on my phone from a hotel room out of town i'm a couple hundred miles from home so again there's a full setup for what we get I kind of want to tell you a little bit about each piece and what's different about these than, say, for example, Condor. Condor makes fine gear. It's good for a person that's just the average uh, guy that wants to have some gear that work, you know, just go out and have fun on the weekends or gear in a pinch. Uh, ours is a little bit beyond what they can produce, and it's got some more options to it I want to show you really quick. So first thing first, we'll start with the big belt, so the actual battle belt itself. You'll notice there's a Velcro opening on either side here so that you can get in to the inner pouch right here that you'll see where your inner belt actually runs inside here. So it's set up can be run as a left or a right sided holster. Again, got arch tags on everything so you know you actually got the right product, not a piece of Condor repurposed. The material itself is 100% nylon. The weave on it is what really counts. It is a lot heavier, a lot sturdier than most of the other tactical gear that you will see out there. Everything is double stitched. If you look really, really close right here, you'll see where they've taken the molly and stitched it down. Everything is double stitched, burned on the end so nothing frays. Again, left or right sided. Metal rings across the top if you want to set up a harness to run on top standard suspender alice harness i'm partial to something along the lines of like an h harness that gives me a little more support on the upper back but metal not plastic we flip it over you'll notice there is no stick or rather there is a stick a rubberized stick them inside on the center of the back and then on either side to keep that belt from spinning around your waist and then the rest of it is a padded Sponge padded inside with a net on the outside of it. That's the part that'll be against your body. So it's completely 100% breathable on your body. So you're not sweating and oozing and carrying on. But again, just enough on here to keep it from 
being able to, or rather to keep it sticking to you, to your belt, so that it's not sliding around your center when you've got a holster on and things turning sideways. I mentioned briefly the inner belt that goes with it. Again, pretty much your standard web belt that you'll see. Beyond that, what makes this one different, like I said, you got dual keepers. So you can set them up so that once you Velcro the inside of this belt here is 100% adjustable. You just pull it, yank it through the buckle, and you can drag this down further and make the belt shorter or shorten it or make it longer, give you a longer belt. Then your keepers slide freely over that to keep it buckled down so it doesn't come loose once it's inside the belt. Again, tagged with the ARCS logo so we know it's legitimately ours. But when we flip it over, you'll notice again the stitching on everything here is what matters all the way around the edges, top and bottom. We have done a fold over stitch and then they've double stitched the insides of the belt to make it extra firm so that it doesn't have a tendency to crumple and roll. I can squeeze the belt and it doesn't want to give in the middle. It will around the edges just where the material's at. A little but it does not want to compress or bend when you squeeze it. So it gives you a good stiff belt that goes inside that battle belt to carry the weight and load that's on that belt without it rolling. Once it's inside that battle belt, it should be noted that on the battle belt, again, only the front on either side here and here open up. The piece in the back where it's broader across the small of the back here where it's wider, that does not open up, and inside the gap, you'll notice there is material here that is a belt loop inside. Again, double stitch down, stitch to the belt to ensure that your inner belt stays exactly where it is and it's not riding up or down inside this battle belt as you get up or down or move around. It's the same way on the other side. Again, another stiffer inner heavy-duty loop inside right there. So, wanted to let you see that. Mag pouches are next. Again, similar to your standard, but it's a three setup mag pouch. You have a rubberized bottom right here. You'll notice it's more of a rubber to pull it open. And weep holes in the bottom. If you get dirt, sand, crap down in the bottom of those, each one of those has got an opening so that things drain out if stuff gets in. Standard Velcro opening, elastic on the side of each pouch so that it keeps it closed down tight, keeps the magazine secured inside snugly. Flip it over to the back. You'll notice snaps on the bottom to keep it inside the molly gear. If you look at this, we're gonna turn a little, you can see inside this is double layered, but inside there is a small piece of plastic that is sewn in there as well so that it's extra stiff on the back back here where it goes in the molly so we don't get a lot of bending again you can see try to get down here close you can see the piece of plastic that is stitched inside to reinforce the molly attachment with the snaps and then inside on the back you'll notice there is strapping like so it runs the entire length all the way throughout the back of it as well so if you want to extra secure it if you have an additional way that you'd like to secure it to any of the other molly gear vest uh, any other type of carriers, drop leg carriers, whatever it is, you can adapt it so that it will fit any of your other gear as well. Now finally, this is kind of the big deal, is the holster. Very similar to the Tornado style holsters that are adjustable to fit various, uh, various weapons. The material, heavy duty nylon with rubberized gray stripes that you'll see here that provide grip onto your pants, both inside and outside. So it sticks to the pants, sticks to the outside. Quick release buckles where it snaps to your thigh, like so, top and bottom. So dual strap, fully adjustable. On the top of it, up here, a quick release. This is our Velcro that would actually run up inside that battle belt like so. So it actually ties itself to the inner belt, hangs on the inner belt, not just hanging on the battle belt, fits in left or right, but Velcro that snaps that or secures it to that upper inner belt on the inside there. Again, a quick release. If you just want to pull the holster, get it off and out of the way, just a quick release buckle. 
There's an additional mag pouch on the front of this. Some people like it, some people don't. I leave it there, just closed up. I don't usually carry a magazine in there. However, if I got a fourth or a spare, not a bad idea to have a little extra. Nose has been double stitched all the way around for extra reinforcement all the way across. Again, the arch tag and logo. Here's what I like about this. Everybody and their brother has a problem with the retention system on these holsters and their ability to move the retention up and down so that it fits snugly against the back side where the hammer would be if you've got a double action, single action, or just the back side, the butt plate side of that Glock. So again, wing, we wanted to make it work for everybody. We put a snap and a Velcro set up here instead of just the Velcro. So you just unsnap it, you can move this retention strap up and down whatever height you like so snug it down if you have a smaller gun so it's a little lower in there move it up if you have a higher ended gun as opposed to the normal ones that i've all the other ones i've actually seen on the market just have this velcro and you got to wiggle and stuff and try to pull this thing up and down and pry and cuss and it is unbearable it pisses me off to no end so we put a snap and velcro to double secure it so you snap it back down then also note Inside the retention system, you can leave this Velcro strap down if you like, or you can bring it up to where that snaps down. Again, giving you a double secure on the top. So I can un, un Velcro. Then I've still got my snap that's built into the top to get it out. And you'll notice again, this is set up the exact same way. Plastic sewn in, a plastic strap sewn into the inside of both parts of that retention strap. You'll see it in there, just a little tiny sandwich. It was a piece of plastic. Uh, it's just ABS style plastic that's in there that gives this the stiffness to work and be able to snap open and close. So it's reinforced there. When you open it up, again, you'll have to apologize. I apologize to you. I'm trying to do this with one hand and still run the camera inside. You'll see there is an adjustable strap here that can be moved up and down for the length and the barrel of the gun so that as that gun goes in, it sets down inside on this strap, muzzle mounts there. Then we just fold it up till it fits good and tight, fold it up, lock it shut. There's your holster. So the big, big, big improvements on this really is some Velcro inside and out here that you can move and adjust everything that you want, all the adjustments on the holster. But by, by far, the best thing going is this. I can't tell you how many times I've had fits and cussed and probably have lost my religion trying to get this strap to go into this little tiny tunnel that's got Velcro on both sides. This one beats the pants off of it. Just unsnap it, open it up, move your retention strap, Velcro it back down, and set your snap in line where you want, and snap it in place. Now it's secured in there, and it's not going anywhere. Again, great product. The big thing on this is a lifetime guarantee on all of their products, all the merchandise. If it fails at any point in time, return it. It'll be replaced for free. No questions asked. So, again, great, great product. Holster, mag pouch, inner belt, and the outer battle belt all in one piece. Probably a half to two-thirds of what everybody else is charging. This is whole setup will be on the market for somewhere in the $80 to $90 range. Obviously, we'll run some sales and giveaways as well, so keep your eyes out for that. But again, $80 to $90, all the pieces, as opposed to $125 to $140 for something comparable and all the upgrades on this product. If you have any questions, email us at arcsselfdefense at gmail.com or look us up on the web. Uh, you can find us on Facebook as well. So if you have any questions, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you.